Alrighty, welcome back. We're on the chassis. Uh, we had the, we got the chassis covered up. Just put a piece of plastic on it. As you've seen yesterday, uh, we painted two days ago, I think now. We've got the rear end painted and some of the pieces painted. So basically what I want to do now is I want to put some of the pieces back on the chassis. Uh, probably just a few pieces, like the motor mounts. We can put those on. That's not going to hurt anything. We can put the cross member in. That's not going to hurt anything. The rear end, we'll put the wheels on it and let it down. Uh, did not, did not put the the ball joints in the in the control arms yet. These ones are on order, and that explains right there when you get building a car. Sometimes it doesn't go the way you want it to go because you do not have all the parts when you need them. You know, basically, you know when the when the when the uh, overhauling came out. You know, they're building the car in seven days. Well, they probably had a month's worth of time trying to get all the parts in order so they could build it in seven days. If basically, if you know what I'm trying to say. Uh, anyways, we have, we have all the parts lined up here. Not everything's painted. Jolene is getting some fussy. <laughs> <laughs> and the reason I'm saying she's fussy because now she's looking at it at a different light. Every time that something goes on, if she sees a piece of dirt or if she sees a scratch or anything, she knows, she knows what's got to be done to make that big, that big dollar car or that show winning car. She knows. And basically when you get into this sort of stuff and you start visualizing, seeing things, then you know. Um, then you know. But basically what I'm going to do is I'm going to get Jolene to put the camera down. I'm going to come in with a pair of snips. We're going to get on some gloves that we got from a fan or a YouTube follower. Thank you very much. We're going to put some gloves on. I want to put the transmission, uh, the transmission mount on. And it's going to take a little bit to put it on because now we have paint on. Now we don't want to scratch anything. And basically, too, where it's dirty, where we are a little bit dirty in the shop here, where it's got the, the plastic on, is gathering dust. We're just going to take our time. When we pull that off, we're going to leave the dust on the chassis. We're not going to wipe it. And I'll tell you why you do not wipe because it scratches it. As soon as you have a little bit of dust on a chassis or any paint at all and you wipe it, it's, it's like sandpaper, basically. Uh, but we're going to try to put that on. We have, or I have, we have, obviously, me and Jolene, uh, up the mountain we have a metal uh, place where you take your metal and stuff, and Lori's a good friend of mine, but Lori buys metal, and obviously these nuts and bolts and stuff come from uh, the Quonset buildings that you build on your own. You buy the metal, and they send the bolts and nuts to you, but I don't know what grade they are. I don't know what grade they are. But they have one, two, three, four, five, six lines on them. So it's either a grade eight or a grade 10. I'm not sure. But what I'm thinking is, is I want to have all these gold nuts. That did sound very good, did it? Gold nuts. <laughs> I want to have all these gold bolts and nuts on this chassis. So basically, we're going to put the transmission uh, cross member in with these. And we're going to use these, and then everything that we do on the on the on the rear or on the chassis, we're going to use these gold. They're grade eight or grade ten, and we're going to try to put it together with that. I just think it would look extra special, nice. And we'll tr what we're going to have to do is we've got nuts and bolts, and to hold the control arms in, uh, but they're not this color. So what me and Jolene are going to have to do, we're going to have to run to our local nut and bolt store, Skirmans and Berwick, and we'll gather up the right nuts and bolts and get them in this grade so we can bolt everything on the chassis with this stuff. I just think it'll look extra special nice and she's in compliance. Yeah. Are you not, baby? Yeah. She's in compliance. So she's gonna put down the, the camera and um, I'm, gonna, she, I'm gonna grab a pair of snips so we can cut off the, 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 the zip ties and then we can come over and put this in. And this sort of stuff right here, like the, this is what we're, what we're doing right now. <laughs> this is where it takes, you know, where it takes precision and it takes a little bit of holding your tongue and, and being careful because um, one slip of the, the tongue, you, you've got a scratch. Um, if we get a scratch, to me, I'm okay with it. But Jolene will probably feel different. <laughs> it's, funny, it's funny to me because this is Jolene's real you know, her real-time experience going into something like this, and it's becoming more the, more to her than it is me because I've done it many a times. But uh, as, as she's going through it, you know, um, it's going to be fun to watch. Now, as we... <laughs> she's smiling. <laughs> Believe me. She got her hair done yesterday. She looks like a million bucks. Her sister did a great job. Uh, 
we're going to put it in, but we're going to have to be careful because now you have, we have filler on some of the, on the, on the frame. We've got primer on the frame and now we've got paint on the frame. If you don't realize that gathers, it does, it gathers. We've got paint on that, on the cross member. So now when we go to put that in there, we're really going to have to take our time because, um, we get a boo-boo. But anyways, also when we, when we do this, <clears throat> yeah, we're just going to go for it. And, uh, I'm going to gather up a few nuts and get ready. So I've got a, a, a bucket of these bolts. They got a nice collar on them. I'm enjoying that. I'm going to get some nuts going. We're gonna get, I like to see, we got some stuff in the way here. So, so you stick with me for a minute. I'm just gonna pull this trunklet out of the way. And uh, we're gonna grab some nuts to do that with. Just like the chalkboard. Remember that idea? Yeah. yeah. Doing that in the chalkboard. We got some nuts in here. These are all gold too. We'll throw them on the, we'll get a, a wrench and a couple wrenches, one for your side, one for my side. Well, this should be your side over here probably. Let me cut some nuts here. I'm um, nuts enough, but that's how it goes. We got, I think there's one, two, three, four, five. just trying to get ready here. Throw a couple on that side. And throw a couple on your side. And we'll only get a few things on here and you'll just, we'll show you. After, after we do this, me and Jolene are going for a, for a drive. We're going to look at a 47 Mercury Coupe. It's not a business coupe, but it's a coupe. So we're going to go take a look at it, and uh, that's what we're going to do. So tomorrow you'll probably see a video of that. If he allows us to film, we will film. Uh, and basically, um, it's hard to get the, the, sa the sound. I know, like last time, we do not run around with mics and, and say, mic you up. We, don't, we do not do that. We get there, we ask them if they, can we, they mind us filming, and then we film. Um, this, is, this is not TV. Like, it's... it's not TV, but it, it's better than TV because it's live, or liver. Um, you must realize when you watch TV, everybody's got to be mic'd. <laughs> you must realize that. If you do not, I just told you, everybody's got to be mic'd. I'm just going to drop this off because I know that's sharp. Oh, I'm going to go get some gloves on. Jolene said get some gloves on. Excuse me, sweetheart. I'm gonna get some gloves on. Now I'm getting, now I'm getting half like Jolene. And the you reason being me. is, what's that? You trained me. I trained her, she says, I trained her, she says. She blames it in on, on me, boy, she's gonna blame <laughs> it on me. Is there two there or is there one? Two. Okay. Uh, da, da, da. Two. I got two here and for me. Thank you for the gloves. We appreciate it. Don't we, baby? Yep. So we're not going to be scared to handle this. And let's face it, everything on the top side of the chassis, never going to be seen, you know, unless, you, unless you're bolted in between the car and the, and the <laughs> chassis, you're never going to see that. So basically, I did not worry about, you know, any dirt or dust that got on the top. Not going to see any of that. On the bottom, we painted it this way, so you, there's no dirt on the bottom, obviously. The rear end turned out absolutely wonderful. Jolene made a good call by doing that because it would not have looked like that without Jolene's work. It would not have looked like that. No, it would not. And she did a beautiful job. Beautiful. God love you. Ah. Some of them gloves are bigger than others, right? For some reason. Alrighty, I'm gonna cut this free. That's a Chad Hilt's throwing star. <laughs> Alrighty, I'm just gonna grab it and get a hold of it. 
You're going to have to, Jolene, um, you don't have to do anything, but a nicer pair of snips would have been better. Uh, you're going to have to put your camera down and give me a hand. Mm -hmm. Jolene, get her gloves on. This is what takes the time sometimes. Not sometimes, it does take time, no matter what. Putting it back together. And what's gonna happen here, Jolene, um, just for, you can peel the plastic back if you like. Just kind of, I can roll it back with you. You take one side and I'll take one side, we'll just roll it back because we're gonna use it again. Don't worry about the dust, sweetheart. Do not worry about the dust. It is what it is. All right, let's just roll it back far as there. What's going to happen is, is it, that's it. <laughs> She's looking at the dust, boys, wondering what's on her chassis. You grab one, you grab a knee pad. I grab a knee pad. I think I tried this before, last time. Now, it's going to be trying. And the reason being is that we're going to have to hold it. <laughs> so I'm thinking that I'm going to pass it over to you underneath. Um, you're going to have your end there. I'm going to swing my end out here, and then I'm going to swing it in. Okay. So it's not just going to go up straight. Okay? I'm going to let make, get you to hold it. We'll talk as we go, I guess. I'm just going to go underneath here like that. Yeah. You just hold more your way. Now, you're, see where your center, but you're right on the money. Can you, can you take your end up if you possible? Right about there somewhere, yeah. Going to, there we go. Now that, would you? And anything that happens, if we have to, we're going to go up through. I'm going to put a bolt on this now just to hold it. <laughs> You're blowing dirt off it, boys. You're blowing dirt off it. We're going to go up through, so have all the nuts on the, on the top of the heads of the bolts look at coming down. I think that'll be nice. We're not going anywhere there. Remember, if anything scratches, then we just get into the nail polish. Jolene's got some nail polish, haven't you, baby? Jolene's got nail polish. How come those don't have um, what? rubber washers, like the ones in my pocket? Does it matter? Where, which one's your, let me see, what do you have? It's got a rubber. That's smaller. Okay. We're going up through. That went well. That went well. Now, don't know if all the heads are... That's mm. tricky. Mm. I don't know if that's going to work or not. You know what I mean? Huh? Because of the bolt. Yeah. What's going on? Uh, we have. It's not going to. It's going to work that way better than the other way. So we're going that way. It's just going to. You know what I'm saying? At the head of the bolt, if it went down through, it's not going to work as good either. So we're coming up through. Going to have to come up through because when we let's explain that right now, it's got this shoulder on it. We've got a little filler in the, on the edge of the chassis where it comes up, right? There's a little filler on the in the in the corner of that, mm -hmm. so it's better off to go that way than the other way. So you can try to feed them up through if you want to. Try to feed it up through there, and I'll try to feed one up through this side. And if it doesn't exactly fit. Hold your tongue the other way. And what I was trying to say is, is this side here, as it comes down and it's got this turn in here, if we put the head part over, it would hit side the chassis. We don't want that. Whoever cut them holes did a, did a good job. Not coming up through all the way, or it's hard going. 
Just have to be pushed one way or the other. Actually, you know what I wouldn't mind doing? As we're doing this, as you get them on there, we're not, they're not on all the way. We'll drop a little bit of, I got some Loctite. We'll just drop a little bit of Loctite down inside the... Come look at this one. Yeah, I know. We need a hand on this side. Should I rip through? If I shove it, you should be able to shove it up through. We got body filling it probably. Or no. Not quite. Ah, it's not even going through that. Yeah. Well, there's the first start of not fitting. So what's going on? We got a little it's hitting on something. No, there's no body fill might have dropped on top of it. Let's come over this side and get these ones on. Nah. I gotta pull this one over here, see if you can get this one on. Or you gotta I'm gonna pull that right there. That went up through. All right, just a second. We're going the right way. Take it out. All right. As I pull that against the chassis, we must realize that we're hitting the bottom of the chassis. All right? Mm -hmm. I'm gonna come in here, pick up my, my big feet. There we go. That's better. All right, there we go. Get a nut on it. Precision! Mm -hmm. All right. Dirt, dust. Let's just grab another one there. We're going to have to take a die grinder to that side, probably, no doubt in my mind. And if, we, if they don't fit, well, then what is. And where the nut goes down through like that, we'll just drop some. some. Uh, some. Uh, Loctite on top of them so that it can't come off. Let's get them all in first. Um, this side, I need the die grinder. You want to turn the air on for me, please? Thank you. It's always nice to have a good looking helper. <laughs> That's not what I want for that. <clears throat> I don't know if the air is going to make. That's. I knew I seen a piece of fill sitting on. <laughs> I'm just going to take and run something up in there. What do I want? I don't want it. Hmm. Okay, I can screw that up in there. That's fine. All right, now we're, have that. <laughs> I just tried that again. It worked. Oh, really? Yep. You're gonna have to screw it in, though. Okay. All right, just a second. It? You can't hold it. Yeah. I'm struggling. Oh. <laughs> Wait a second here now. Should have should have had that ready for us, but it did not. Good job, Vina. That'll work, I'm sure. Nope. No. Oh no. Okay. Just gonna give you that. I'm gonna give you a ratchet. Here's the one we want. So I'm gonna get you to, I'll pull that back and then you can screw it in, right? Mm -hmm. 
faster. Beautiful. You are beautiful. All right, that's good enough for now, it's in there. Let's grab another one, see if we can get ones on the inside. See, you can screw the ratchet that one up in there if you can. Not sure what it's gonna to do to the thread, but going up through. Yeah. Yeah. Good. Good, good, good. Kind of a little tight on everything, but that's all right. <clears throat> We're just thinking that the head of the knot would look better down underneath. If we can get it all that way, that'd be fantastic, I'm thinking. All right, got a knot there at all? Stick your nut on it, if you will. Yep. Looks crooked. That's fine. It's fine. Just a minute. Now, don't go all the way down through. What we're going to do is drop a little bit of Loctite okay. on them. If you want to ratchet that one up in a little bit further. You can work as hard as you want putting these together, but it, it just ta it takes time is what it takes. It takes time. Be careful. You whack the paint and you're, you'll be crying. No, it doesn't bother me any, man. <laughs> it doesn't bother me. <laughs> I like when she winks at me, boys. <laughs> Got a nut for that? Well, that fine tune, huh? All right, now well, this is what I'm going to do. I'm just going to drop a little bit of stuff in that one. Just drop a little bit in it. Mm -hmm. Kind of go down around our nut. Drop a little bit in that one. We don't plan on taking it off, right? Or I don't think we are. A little bit in this one. I don't think we're planning on taking it back apart, so we're going to put the lock tight on the... Just drop a little bit in the center there to run down around the nut. What would you rather do? Would you rather do the the ratcheting or the holding of the top of the nut? What do you rather do? The ratchet. Okay, so when you're doing the ratcheting, make sure, or pay attention, that um, you have another, you're not gonna hit the bottom of the chassis, right? Mm -hmm. So you're gonna have to be careful. Careful, easy does it. You gonna be able to get that in with your fingers? A second. Ooh. Ooh, she says. <laughs> you, you roll her up in there. Can you turn it in there? Turn your bowl. Oh. Not just a pretty face, am I? No. Huh? Oh, you can get her on there. Screw it in. Good. Let's put, I want to put a little Loctite in for you any further. Where did I put Loctite? Over there. Hello, Fina. We've got to detail the engine. Jolene has sent for some, some stainless steel headers, which I think will look really nice in their car. <coughs> and uh, the more we do, the more it costs you. If, if nobody knows it, um, I'm going to tell you something. It's cheaper to buy than build. 
It is. It's cheaper to buy than build. But what fun is in that? <laughs> right? What fun is in that? Huh? It's cheaper to buy than build. And basically, when you build a car, you are doing it three times. You are tearing it apart. There's one time. Uh, you were fixing it, and then you were putting it back together. So it takes three times. You're, you're, you're tearing it apart, you're fixing everything, and then you're putting it all back together. And sometimes you're putting it back together three, four, five, six times to make it work. And uh, that's what costs the money. I'm going to get my knee pad. Let's, 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 do, let's do our first one. Let's go for it. You're going to ratchet that? I'll give you a hint on that ratchet. When you're, when you're ratcheting, you, hold, you can hold that. So when it comes back, you just hold, put your fingers on that. So when it comes back, you've got action. You've got action. Go for it, action, Jackson. I got the easy job. <laughs> I think I do. Just be careful. Make sure you don't slip off. That's all. That's all I'm asking you. It's pretty tight. Okay. Not going to fall off? No. Okay. Let's do this one. And generally, a one, a one person would do this by themselves generally, but you need two people to put the, the, the transmission mount in, you know, one for each side. But we're just... Try and do the best job we can. Jolene looked at me this morning. She goes, we get some dirt in that, in that motor mount. And I was like, wow. <laughs> we got dirt in the motor mount. Gotta push it off the jack stand now. It's tough. Go for it. We just put a little Loctite on it, you know, we never want anything to fall out. Is that tight? Mm -hmm. I, think it, I think it can go up a little further maybe. Just because I feel like the, the other bolts are up through a little further. Hey, hey. That's tight. Okay. All righty, <coughs> let's, let's go on the inside. Let's try this one. I'm gonna try to hold that. Going good. Add a second. Let me take this out of here. Go ahead. I got it. Good. Good. Don't hurt yourself now. <laughs> Let's go to this one. Oh. Just a second. Let me let me wind this down on there. Got oh, I got it. You do? Oh, you're freaking right, I do. Okay. Just be careful. Yeah. Oh, it's good. It's actually quite nice to have a woman's touch on this because, um, well, basically, I'm a little bit stronger I would say We've got one more to dare to do I'm a little bit stronger and it does not need strength when you're putting something together it just needs a nice uh, just a nice firm touch and I'm thinking that Jolene's torque wrench is probably just right can you give me some yep thank you cycle just putting a little bit in there what the hay <coughs> hurt my chest taking that thing off for some reason okay. I did go ahead Looks like it's crooked. It probably may be. Well, you'll straighten her out when you tighten her up. Yeah. 
It'll place itself down. Straighten it out now, isn't it, eh? Mm -hmm. Aye. Good touch. To the other side. So we're going to look at a 47 Mercury Coupe. Like I said, it's not a business coupe. So it's a, it's got the, the longer, what I've noticed, it's got a longer door on it. And the roof is a little bit longer. And uh, what I'm, what's playing through my mind is, um, it's, from, from what I understand, it's in pretty good shape. Like it's a really nice, should be a nice car, but I understand. And I keep, I keep playing in my mind that I would like, I've never seen a 47, the second, the second, I've never seen a 47 coupe. It's a five, it's a one, two, it's a five window, but I've never seen a 47 coupe turned into a three window. So um, I might like to do that. That's what's playing through my mind. Beautiful. Let's do this one. Hold your socket so it get yeah, there you go. Oh, just a second. There go ahead. Oh, just a second. I want to stop that. Go ahead. All right, seems to be good, don't it? Mm -hmm. Huh? Mm -hmm. <laughs> She's looking to see if it scratched. Did, did it scratch? Nuts up against it a little bit, isn't it? Mm -hmm. That's all right. That's what, it's, that's what it's all about, man. That's what it's all about. Yeah, it's turned into more than just building her car. <laughs> it's turned into a Jolene's dream. That's fine. Your car. <laughs> it's nice because if she scratches it, <laughs> it's on you. <laughs> if I scratch it, I'd probably uh, probably be in trouble. <laughs> All righty. Beautiful. You are, Jolene. Come on, let's do it again. Let's do it again. Got some Loctite. I haven't got Loctite in that one. So we'll have to take all our bolts that we have for the front end. We're going to have to run to our store and uh, get our bolts for the front end so we can get them all this. Yep. All right, let's do the next one. Does that got Loctite in it? looks like it's got Loctite in it, but it took off. Yep, it's down in there. Oh, I know it was. <laughs> not worried about it a bit. You have to realize, like, I mean, if, if something happens, you have to realize that it's, it's, the, it's the underneath the car. If you drive it once, it's going to be dirtier than this. Right? Mm -hmm. So go easy on yourself. Don't beat yourself up. Let's go for it.
Awesome. Beautiful. So we have got one transmission mount in your car. Just like that. How's that look underneath? Good. That's where you're going to be looking at. I like it. You like it? That's the main thing. That looks nice. Yeah. That looks nice. And the bolts that we put in got a shoulder on them. So it's, it's, it's washered. It looks uh -huh. nice. Uh -huh. Very nice. That's where you're going to be looking at. I know the pictures are here, but now, do you, do you want to take and um, try to get the, we want to try to put the motor mounts on? Uh, what am I going to say now? Now Now's the time. Oh, those things. Yeah, let them come out, no problem. Just don't want to pull paint off. Just want to squeeze them and that, would you? Just squeeze them so they get smaller. Pull the, if I tried to just pull them out without doing that, so I'm just squeezing the, squeezing it so it's bulged out like that instead of trying to pull it out i could pull the paint off but we sand it real good so i'm just squeezing it so the paint goes inwards mm -hmm. and then we'll pull it off looks funny when it comes out doesn't it <laughs> huh? good awesome uh that's for body mounts we'll, we can take them out doesn't matter get them out that looks nice eh mm -hmm. Whoops. Jesus. Were you taking them bolt and nuts with you? Yeah, you got a pocket full of them falling there. I see that. So. Don't know what's going to go on yet with the motor mounts. And you're going to watch and see because the motor mounts, we filled the side of the chassis. We filled down there. So we might have to knock some paint off. But who knows? We'll see what happens. But I'm going to knock, take off a motor mount. Let's do this one first. See what happens. These are all half inch, these ones. These are the ones you got there. You interest it, and I'm going to be right here. Mm -hmm. Same bolts? No, nope. yeah, same bolts. Just, yeah, these ones here, we'll put the washers on them. What the heck? Uh, you want to put them in? Yeah. I'll go on the other side. I don't know if I have. What? Half inch? No, um. Half inch is what they are. The nuts. Don't need nuts, sweetheart. Well, we need nuts for, I get nuts in there, but we need to screw the two top ones in first. Okay. Here's the half inch for the ratchet. Press the button on the top and release the other one. Yep. Just like playing Legos. <laughs> Lego me ego. Huh. Weird. So you're screwing that down in there. Yep. Good. Things grow when you, it's, it's, I know it's hard to believe. <laughs> Well, Fina, dog, dog bell just went off. Fina. Stay. Fina. Fina. Be good. We're a little bit there, but. All righty. We're coming up through with those ones. Let's grab a couple of those. See if we can come up through. Someone here? Pete, or uh, Harley. Tina. Huh. Mm. Harley coming up here? I don't know. I didn't see her. I just seen her car. Mm. Let me see if we can get some nuts. All right. You want to ratchet that up in there if you can? Just holding down on it because it's fitting tight. Wait a second. All right. Let's get 
some nuts. Got some smaller nuts here. Looks amazing, don't it? Looks good. Alrighty. Fina, I'm gonna need a half inch wrench. Should probably put some Loctite on that. First time I kick the frame, she's gonna kick me, I know it. <laughs> Let's do, put the other side in. Let's do this one. Let's put another one on this side. That one fits better, eh? Yeah. The second. Let me put a lock tight on that. Alrighty. Let's 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 turn let's turn this front one on. See if we can get this one on. I'm surprised that the motor mounts fit so good. And the reason being I say that is because of the paint and filler. So we know that uh, we had a good fit. Oh, I wonder if we should have a second now. Yeah, go ahead. Is it going good? Yep. Good. Let's screw these, let's put these down in. That one's not gold, <coughs> is it? That one's... This one. Mm -hmm. uh, no more gold. Uh, kinda, it's in there now. You know what I mean? Go for it, put it in. This what do you think? Do you wanna take that out? It's kinda hard going there now where we got that bolt in there. It's got pressure on that now. Okay. Put it in there. Be careful. Mm -hmm. I'll get the next one ready. And then I'll oh, hold the next one. <laughs> the old dog bell went off, huh? Harley's here. <laughs> this one is the one that really matters a lot. And I say it matters a lot is because the drive or the steering arm goes through this and uh, it matters. In good? Yeah. Good. I'll just put this right here. And then we'll tighten this one up. Ooh. That's okay, long you. <laughs> Be careful. Good. You're good. You're lucky. I know. <laughs> you know what they say. You got to gotta be good to be lucky. You got to be good to be lucky. Just had to stay more, what can I say, when you're tightening that up to stay more... Uh, Controlled. No, just um, committed. Mm. Don't, uh, don't pull off, just be committed on holding the... There you go, that's good. <laughs> good. Just be committed. All right, we need two of the small ones for the top, and then we'll put the bottom ones in after. And it's nice to have Jolene to, to do this, and the reason being is, it's her car, <laughs> you know, for her to help, why not? It's her car. Even though I said that I'd build her a car, I didn't know we were going, we were going this far, but <laughs> here we are. We'll put the two top ones in. Let's get them started. Beautiful. You 
anywhere. And the steering goes through here. It's going to be, it is what it is. That one going in. Go for it. It's right again. Going good this time? It, it will probably like run hard. That's better now. Okay. Good. Let's do the ones up underneath. You got two more. I'll get them. I'll kick the chassis. <laughs> here see if they're nice and gold the gold or the better eh yeah. gold or the better all righty i'm going to hold that in and you're going to push that up through get that through, through. i might have to do the exact same thing with your ratchet and ratchet it up through I'm, I'm thinking that the paint, filler, and primer has made us tight fitting. Nope, you want to start with your fingers first, and then you start with your fingers, then put the ratchet on, okay? Mm -hmm. Got it? Yeah. Watch your hair. Going up in it all? Mm, it seems like it. Yeah. Oh, actually, there it is. Okay. Now, yeah, ratchet her up through, man. I mean, woman. <laughs> Teamwork. <laughs> Good. Beautiful you are. She likes that. Alrighty. Let's, you're in there now. Let's get up a little further if you can. Alright. Oh, you dropped the second let go. No, you come right out now. Gotta slide right up in there now. Should I tighten these to make it tighter? I'm thinking that. That's, that's not what I'm thinking. We're just going to have to get that sucked down on there, that's all. A pair of vice grips to do it, but you know what vice grips are going to do? If I hold down on that, can you do both? Hold it, hold your, I got your hair, hold the knot and screw it. You can hold the knot too. If you can to, screw the knot on. Taken? Is it? I think so. Let me see. Is it not on? Nope. Yeah. Where's the screw or the wrench? Let's uh, let's try to put this one on. Well, you, if you're screwing it, you should try it again. There's no outsource for that. Let's try to see if we can get this one on and see if we can pull it down. Screw that one, just try to ratchet that one. That one took, did it not? Mm -hmm. Just a second now, let's put some. Where's our half inch? Um, just a minute now, we get all everything. Let's let's just let's put these in. Just stay committed when you're doing it. Just make sure. Ratchet that, yeah. Go, you take it. I just hold it down and just roll them a bit. So what we'll do is we'll get it somewhat together, get the stuff cleaned out of the paint room, obviously. We'll get it on the chassis itself. And then, then, then the chassis can live in the paint room for a while. That's good. Until we get more, more stuff. All right, let's, uh, let's try to, let's get this one tightened down. And then maybe we'll, that front one will draw down, maybe. Maybe.
Nothing better than building a car with your best friend. <laughs> All right, You're, you didn't scratch nothing. She's gonna though. She just she's working on it. <laughs> we can get that. Let's screw this. Try to screw that up in there further. Just try to just try to see if it'll go up in there further. Just a second. Yeah, go ahead. Uh, just a minute. Got her. Gutter's the last thing that goes on, but we got it. <clears throat> Go ahead. Beautiful. You are. I'm quite amazed that everything went on like that, even though we filled it out and painted it, right? Mm. You gotta make sure you're committed on that thing. You can make sure you're you're straight up and down. Hold that for a second. Don't let it go up against your chest, see? You'll be meddy. <clears throat> Do the exact same thing. No, nope, didn't, didn't, it didn't turn. We're gonna say that's it. Done. Try the paint off there a little. Up on the side, have to hit that with a... Hmm. <laughs> mm, she says. No, just you're gonna have to hit that with nail polish. All there is to it. Alrighty. And you're gonna have to hit that with nail polish there. Well, okay. Let's pause there. Good. Took it away from you. And did the exact same thing. Motor mounts. You get any black nail polish? Yep. We're at in the house? No, it's in the truck. In the truck? It's in the dash. Okay. Anything else we're going to put on it? We got the control arms that can go on it, but we want to get the, the grade eight bolts. That's what we want to do. So we'll be going slowly, a little bit here and there, and uh, that's how we'll be doing it. We have to run and go get those. That's what takes time sometimes. Uh, everything's going good. Uh, I, I put the first chip in it. It tore the paint off right there when we turned the nut around, or the bolt around, but that's fine. That's what happens. That's what happens. And we'll put a little black paint on it. We got some black paint we got to put on there for where we hung it. That's fine. But the, the motor mounts are in. Um, we're going straight forward. Transmission mount went in better than I thought. And the reason being is I thought it would hit on both sides that's fine that's going great Alrighty, we're gonna give away a hatter shirt we're gonna give away a hatter shirt me and Joey is gonna go for a two and a half hour ride we're gonna go look at a 47 mercury coupe not a business coupe that means a business coupe means it's just got the front seat no back seat this is not a business coupe this is a uh, coupe and uh, yeah we'll go see what it looks like <clears throat> Let's give away a hat or shirt. And what we'll do is we'll put the nail polish on before we leave, mm -hmm. and then it's done. It'll it's be dry. Are you mad at me? No. <laughs> oh, good boy. She's not mad at me. And that's what it's going to do. It's going to take a little bit of time. We have to go get and run and get those bolts and nuts and stuff. Uh, we're going to put all the grade 8 or grade whatever on. I thought, great, I thought five marks made a grade eight, but maybe it's six, maybe it's whatever. But thanks for coming back and watching. Hopefully we can change, we might try to, we'll see what happens. We'll see what happens. But uh, we got some progress to do, get some nuts and bolts. It's not big car content getting nuts and bolts. We'll have to do that on our own time, obviously. But Jolene's chassis is going to come together very nicely. We're thinking about how to detail that engine up a little bit. Uh, Jolene came up with a great suggestion last night. We got the valve pan covers on it, and she was saying that the on the on a Bugatti the valve pan covers are flat, and it's got the we don't I don't know what that little check mark looks like. I have no idea how to make that or what it looks like because it can't get up close enough to tell. It looks like a, a seagull. <laughs> is what it looks like. It 
looks like a seagull. Um, but anyways, um, she was suggesting maybe we'll get a piece of a flat piece of aluminum and we could bolt it right down on top of the valve pan cover. You would never know. Like that's basically what the Bugatti top of the engine looks like is it's, it's a yeah, flat piece. Oh, she's going to look it up right here, right now. We've got finned valve pan covers on it right this present moment. And, uh, Jolene came up with a suggestion, making a flat piece of aluminum to go on top of the valve pan cover that we have. So, so we could make that. That's no problem to make that fat, flat piece. I can't see it. Um, our engine's going to be changed. We're going to change the color up a little bit. It'd be nice to have wires like that, but we'll see what happens. We can only do what we can do with what we have. But uh, j that was a good suggestion with the flat piece on top. Um, yeah, we'll do the best we can to make it look like what we what we want or what we desire. And that was Jolene's suggestion, and I might take it. No, I probably will take it. But anyways, let's give away a hat or a shirt. Charlie Lagier. Yeah, or Lagier. Charlie Lagier. The parts look awesome, all painted up. Good call, Jolene. Yes, it was a good call. If she did not make the rear end look like that, it would not look like that inside the car. No, not at all. Um, but that's what it takes, you know. When you go to the shows and you see the car with the mirrors underneath, that is what has happened. That is what has happened. And <laughs> um, no welds visible. <laughs> that's basically it. Thank you, Charlie. You win a hat or shirt of your choice. And uh, Jolene is building herself one mighty fine car. <laughs> and Jolene is looking awesome today. Thanks, honey. We're going to have a good time. Mm -hmm. See you all later. And tomorrow we'll, be, we'll probably be showing the Mercury Coupe that we're going to look at. Hopefully he lets us film. Um, this is not pre-planned, so we don't put a mic on him. Say, here, we're going to put a mic on you. Hopefully we'll just tell him to talk loud or he'll let us film so you get to see what's going on. All right. Peace out, everybody.